Hey, what's up my wild mustaches and welcome back to another wild video. Now first and foremost, hit that bell button, check out my last video and have some fun on my channel. So let's get right into it. Alright my mustaches and welcome back to another wild go make a video. Today is going to be the beginning of a series that I'm going to be doing before December 11th actually releases for 8.1. This is going to help a lot of y'all out because y'all need to know what you need to start saving for 8.1 and be preparing for 8.1 too as well. Now I do want to say right now too, this will help you for your ults, this will help you for your main too. And honestly I think it's just a good thing that you should be doing at the moment now with that said I do want to say right now that some things cannot be sold it's more about you putting it on auction house to actually get more gold out of it so let's get right into it all right guys so let's go over the tailoring that you can do now first and foremost you can make sinister sinisters is actually going to be bound on use you can actually sell these on auction house they're going to be called sinisters combats they can go up to 350 and when I mean 350 is that they're 340 at the moment but whenever you proc you can actually get to 350 just like you did in the last previous now that said there is pants mittens cloaks bracers boots and belts now with that said Said, I will say right now the cloaks can be for any tune meaning that anybody can wear those but the bracers and everything else can actually be only for clothies now with that said there is 385 400 and 415 gear this is called enhanced fortified and tempered now these will actually not be obtainable until uh, the raid actually but enhanced will be enhanced is actually 8.1 thing that you can actually use the only thing you need to do is get title core which is going to be right at 8.1 which you just farm heroics or mythic dungeons now with that said I do want to go over a few other things first and foremost is the material that you need for it deep sea satin embroidered deep sea satin and nylon thread and tide spray linen tide spray linen only because you can get explosive from bracers as easy as you can and compared to any other way now with that said let's actually go over talacore and breath these two can actually uh, be obtained after not before 8.1 talacore the uh, talacore can actually be obtained at 8.1 breath can only be obtained when the raid releases now, even at that, you cannot make a tempered or fortified right away. It's going to be taking you a couple of weeks to actually do. Now, with that said, let's go over the prices. Embroidered uh, Deep Sea Satin is actually going to be 18.57 gold in the U.S. And EU is going to be 12.01 gold. Deep Sea Satin is going to be 32.71 gold in the U.S. EU is going to be 18.69 gold. Nylon Thread is no need to buy. You can buy it from the vendor. It's just easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, with that said, Tide Spray Linen is going to be U.S. 10.13 gold. And EU is going to be 7.54 gold. Now... I'm gonna go over this too as well, okay? Farming spots. And brood is gonna be just like in Tide Spray. Deep Sea Satin is just gonna be basically just like in Tide Spray. And Nylon Thread is gonna be in Vendor. Now, Tide Spray is actually gonna be, like I said, the other few, is gonna be any humanoid, this basically base mob that you're gonna actually farm. Now, I've showed you a few spots in the past, and I will be going over a few spots in the future. And it should have on the screen a few spots that I've done in the past. Now, I do wanna say right now, it's basically a great way to actually get with a group is stuff that actually spawns real quick. Now, one is actually gonna be in Alliance Capital City that we have in this new expansion one is going to be visual hill there's gonna be a lot of spots i can go over all a lot of spots all day long but it's up to you who what you choose there's always spots that you can actually do so let's actually go over in a live stream whenever we do this now with that said guys this has all been tailoring i probably missed some things but honestly what i saw on tailoring this is all that's coming when it comes to gear now let me know in the comments below if i missed something and i can actually cover it in another video but if you liked a video like this if you like to actually hear content like this let me know in the comments below and like always Please like, subscribe, and comment, and stay stashy. I do a lot, and it's actually worked out for me. High pop equals a faster sales, but massive decrease in price. Remember, this is all, not always. This is actually just a rule of thumb that I use. Lower pop equals slower sales, but higher prices or no sales at all. So consider that when you're actually choosing a server. The Undermine Journal can actually help you with all the prices out there if you actually want to see it. And also, too, as well, pop sites will actually help you, too, as well. The reason why pop sites will help you is because it can tell you how many people are playing on that server and how many, you know, potential customers you can actually have now undermine journal will show you how many cells